Today I'm going to talk about swelling in the nose after a rhinoplasty. During a rhinoplasty procedure, during a recovery, it can take time for the swelling to go down. During the first week after rhinoplasty, there will be a cast on the outside of the nose and also some tape. And during that time, that will hide and you really can't see the swelling. After that comes off a week later, you'll see swelling throughout the nose, in the tip, in the dorsum, and maybe over in the cheek areas. By about two to three weeks, you'll see some improvement in the swelling. Maybe about 40 to 50 percent of the swelling is gone at that time. Then around five to six months, I'll probably say about 80 percent of the swelling has gone away. And then for the last 20 percent or 15 percent or so, it goes down over one in one year. There are a couple of factors that will affect how quickly the swelling goes away. One, people with thick skin, swelling will go away slower. Secondly, if you've already had a previous rhinoplasty and you're going through a secondary or tertiary rhinoplasty, it can also take longer for the swelling to go down. So each additional surgery will take a little bit longer for the swelling to go away. And also, the tip of the nose is the area where the swelling actually goes away the last area. So, in conclusion, uh, it takes about one whole year for all the swelling to go away. And there just is some patience involved when it comes to the healing process of a rhinoplasty. Thank you.